Hello everyone. What is a botnet? That is the topic of today's video. A botnet is a group of computers infected with malware to carry out cyber attacks, whether for money or personal satisfaction. The term botnet is a combination of robot and network. Devices that are infected with malware become part of the botnet and are known as bots or zombies. The person who controls the botnet is called a bot holder or a bot master who uses infected devices to execute malicious attacks such as financial fraud, DDoS attacks, email spamming, crypto scams and so on. Cyber attacks occur behind the scenes making use of botnet malware on infected devices. Because of this, a user is often unaware that their device has been compromised with a botnet. It also means that a device can perform actions it was never meant to be capable of performing. Ok, so this is how a botnet works or is created. First of all, botmaster targets devices perhaps by exploiting a vulnerability in computers or by using social engineering tactics to gain access. And then malware is installed via a trojan or other methods on the target computers and converting them into bots. After that, collective bots form a zombie network or you can say an army of zombies. Once the botnet is created, there are generally two approaches to carry out a botnet attack. Centralized or decentralized model of attack and the main difference is how instructions are issued to members of the botnet. Centralized botnet attack. In this model, a hacker creates a command and control server to issue commands to the networks of bots. For example, here we have a bot master who wants to attack this user. He sends commands to this server and server pass on instructions to all the bots in the network. Then they collectively attack this victim to steal money, data or damage the system. Commands are issued using network protocols such as IRC or HTTPS. This method allows the hacker to easily manage multiple devices. However, this approach bears risk for attacker in terms of ease of tracking attacks back to the initial bot holder. Decentralized botnet attack. In this model, hacker uses a peer-to-peer -peer approach instead of a command and control server. In this approach, all the zombie computers are in communication with each other. This means that the bot holder can issue instructions to any one of the bots and the instructions will spread among the entire botnet. This approach makes it harder to trace the device that initially issued the commands. Peer-to-peer -peer approach is more common today as cyber criminals try to avoid detection by law enforcement agencies. Emotet is one of the dangerous examples of a botnet that is used to steal private information from devices or for spamming and delivering malware. It was shut down in early 2021 but came back at the beginning of 2023 and has been gradually expanding ever since. Now here is the crucial part, how to tell if your computer is part of a botnet. Well, it's hard to tell but it is possible to monitor system usage and find your computer is under more stress than it should be. If your computer is behaving differently, for example, taking too much time while shutting down or rebooting and applications start crashing, then this could be an indication of botnet malware infection. Now the question is how to protect yourself against botnet. Here are a few tips for protecting yourself from botnet attacks or turning into a bot. Use strong passwords. Use multi-factor authentication. Install good antivirus software. Update operating systems and avoid clicking suspicious links. Alright, so this was all about botnet. I hope this will help you. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I really do. And I will catch you in the next video.